very special sighting we're having here everybody a whole herd of elephants coming down towards this mud wallow elephants love mud and the most interesting thing about this elephant you can see in front of us the big elephant is that she has no tusks she is tuskless and that's not a very common situation for elephants it's quite unusual mm, it's quite interesting I'm not sure why she should be like that and they love throwing mud on them each other and on themselves it makes them feel cool it helps them to get rid of ticks and things like that and they're going to have a wonderful wallow in the mud here. I must also tell you that there are monkeys. You might just be able to hear them shouting. Monkeys going... They've seen a predator, almost certainly, but way down to the south of where we're allowed to go. So I'm pretty sure that some of the leopards we were hoping to see today are down there. But maybe they will come this way and maybe we'll be lucky to have a sighting of them a bit later on. Isn't this special? The little ones there also love the mud a little bit like human beings love the mud, I suppose, when they're that age. I wonder if you love swimming in the mud. I certainly used to. I still do sometimes, you know. Now this is interesting too, the elephant coming towards us, this cow coming towards us, has also got no tusks. And I think that probably means that she is the daughter of the bigger one that has no tusks, because the lack of tusks is a genetic thing. In other words, it's in, how do I best explain it, in other words you will, they will inherit it from their parents. And interestingly also, there are two calves in the herd once you've looked at this younger cow she's definitely got a youngster because she's lactating that means she's nursing there are two cows there two little calves sorry coming up towards us now both of whom don't have tusks that's very interesting and they're old enough you would normally just see the little tusks coming out now Bonnie you're wondering what they weigh well it really depends on how old they are because they never stop growing a very big bull elephant will weigh up to six tons. That's 6,000 kilograms, which is about 18,000 pounds. And the one you're looking at now, the little one there, is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe about two or three years old, two years old. And she'll weigh in at about 200 kilograms or so, I guess. So, what's that in pounds? About 440 pounds. This is a beautiful sighting, everybody, and we're just going to talk nice and quietly because these elephants are close to us now. And what we don't want to do is make them alarmed. We don't want them to be any way upset with us. And Dakota, what a very good question, of course, because lots of people want to know how long they live because for us, as human beings, it's always nice to know how long an animal lives because we like to compare it with how old we get to. They live about the same time as us, maybe slightly shorter, 55 to 60 years in this area, uh, but in some areas they can live for up to 65 years. This is very special, everyone. They're walking all around us. This cow will now turn towards the north, she'll come towards us. And probably there's a nice big water hole not far from here, and I'm pretty sure that they're going to go there. And Ayana, you're interested in why they've got such big ears. Yes, there is a very good reason they've got big ears. Their big ears help them to stay cool. Now, if you look at this cow as she walks past us, we're going to walk very quietly. And you can see that there are veins in her ears. Now those veins carry a lot of blood. In fact, all of the blood in an elephant's body gets pumped through the ears every 20 minutes. And that means that when they flap the ears, that blood gets cool 
and the cool blood then flows into the brain. Now on a hot day like today, the brain is the most difficult thing to keep cool and it is the most important thing to keep cool. Ferg, just look here. There's a, another cow. The brain's the most important part of the body to keep cool because remember the brain drives everything else that happens. And so that's why they've got the very large ears and why all of the blood goes through their ears into the brain. Now we are going to stay around this area because I think that those leopards that are making the monkeys so upset, I think they might come here and have a drink just now. We might be very lucky and have them here as well.